Winnie. My name's Ashley, if we haven't had the opportunity to practice together before. And I'm going to guide you through maybe around 30 minutes of a flow. We're going to target the hip flexors and the glutes a little more. If you have a block handy, please grab yourself a block or a heavy book. If you don't, that's absolutely fine too. And we're going to start seated. So I like to sit in Varasana. If this is not good for your knees, just take any other seat that feels comfortable for you. And then go ahead and start to make any little movements or adjustments in the body so you can allow yourself to find a, a lengthening spine. Just roll the shoulder blades up towards the ears, let them draw down your back. And if it feels okay for you to close down the eyes, please close down your eyes. And almost like you're taking a little routine check-in. Just notice how you are showing up today or perhaps even what's showing up for you. Notice the environment that you are surrounding yourself with. To acknowledge where you are, the time of day, if you're outside or inside, in your house, your room. sounds other than the sound of my voice. And then you may find here that there is a, a pattern that's starting to emerge with your breath. So just allow that to naturally unfold. Please bring the hands together in front of the heart space in Anjali Mudra. This mudra representing ourselves, each other, and the practice of yoga, the warriors and the gurus within. We'll take a breath in. And a sweet breath out. When you feel ready, gently blink your eyes open. We're going to start in a tabletop position. So come on onto all fours. The shoulders and the hips stack right on top of your wrists and your knees. Spread the fingers nice and wide. And then just any movements, even spinal movements, wave-like movements that feel really natural and organic for you to take. You may even find the head and neck starts to get involved. You may become really fluid or perhaps there's even a little area where you can pause that feels perhaps a little stagnant and stuck and you can just be there and breathe there. And just continue these movements for around three more breaths. Just getting into each kind of crevice, each little spot that needs a little bit more, more love, more attention. And then go ahead and come back to your tabletop shape, please. Readjust, readjust yourself if you need to. And then extend the left leg all the way back in space and see if you can deliberately drop the left hip down so you're squaring off through your base and your pelvis. From here, keep rooting down into your palms. Try to spin the biceps forward. Arms stay straight and then swing that left leg all the way out 
out to the left. The arms stay straight and then can you allow the foot to be in line with your left hip? And then as you do that, can you draw the foot a little closer towards your face? Keep rooting down into your palms, straighten through the arms. Lift the foot a little harder, hold the three. Notice your breathing, hold the two. Take one more breath in. And then drop the foot down to the earth. Create a warrior one foot with the left foot. Press into the left palm. The right arm will reach up to the sky. Look towards the right fingertips. Breathe in. And then thread it all the way underneath yourself, please. Right knee taps to the earth. Breath out. Twice more. Reach and open. Spiral the center of your heart on the in-breath. Thread it all the way through on the out-breath. Back up to the sky. One breath in. Thread it all the way through on the breath out. Back up to the sky, inhale. Plant your palm down to the earth on the exhale breath. Reach the left leg all the way back on the breath in. And then tie the curl it all the way towards the nose. Maybe even touch your nose with your knee. Two more times, extend, inhale, draw the belly in and up. Exhale, breath, curl all the way in. Puff the shoulders up towards the sky. One more time, extend, inhale, curl all the way in on the exhale breath. So press into the mat, try to create as much space as you can from the floor to the knee. Take a breath and then lightly step the foot to the left thumb. Anjaneyasana, reach your arms all the way up towards the sky. And then grab a hold of the right wrist with the left hand. Take a lengthening inhale. Lean all the way to the left, please, on the exhale breath. Like you're pulling your right wrist over, one breath in. Lean a little more, one breath out. Back up to the sky, inhale. Hands release down to the earth on the exhale breath. Swing that left leg all the way back. And then plant that left foot back down to the earth, a warrior one foot. Modified side plank, left arm will reach all the way up towards the sky. Again, see if you can rotate your right bicep forward, draw the right shoulder blade down your back, and then reach the left arm all the way over your left ear. You can either stay here if you'd like to go a little more. Left foot elevates to the height of your hip. Take a breath. Elbow and knee to touch, curl all the way in. Twice more together, extend on the in breath. Elbow we need to touch on the out breath. One more, extend, breath in. Elbow we need to touch, pause. Look forward, lightly step the left foot all the way forward. Step your right foot forward to meet the left. Take a halfway lift inhale. Bow and fold over the legs on the exhale breath. Do that again, halfway lift from tailbone to crown lengthen. Fold all the way over the legs. Press into your feet, reach to the sky. Over Hastasana on an in-breath. Hands come to the heart on the out-breath. Press into the feet, back up to the sky on an inhale. Bend your knees and bow over the legs. Exhale, breath. Halfway lift. Palms plant to the earth. Step lightly back to plank shape, please. Once you find plank, press into the earth with your palms. Puff the shoulders up towards the sky like you're creating this cobra hood here with the shoulders. And then see if you can vacuum up through the front of your body and pull your quad muscles up towards the ceiling. Shift forward, breathe in. Shift back, breathe out. Option to drop the knees at any point. Two more. Shift forward. We shift back. One more here. Shift forward. Breath in. Shift back. Breath out. Shift forward. Inhale. Drop the knees. Child's pose on the exhale breath. Know that you can always come back to this shape at any time. Unravel, come to your tabletop shape. Two rounds of cats and cows, soften the belly, lift up through the heart, eye gaze, chin and chest. Exhale, breath, press the earth away, round all the way in. One more time, come forward, inhale. 
Round all the way through the spine on the exhale breath. Back to your tabletop shape, please. Energize through your palms, energize through your arms. Try to keep them as straight as possible. Right leg draws all the way towards the space behind you. Square your hips off, so notice if your right hip is drawing up, really deliberately drop the right hip down in space, pull the belly up. Go ahead and draw the right leg all the way up to the right, keep the arms straight. Look at your right foot, flex the toes towards your face. Try to have the foot to the line of your hip, hold for three. Hold here for two. Draw the foot a little closer, take one more breath in. And then drop the foot down to the earth on the breath out. Press into your right palm, left arm to the sky, inhale. Twist all the way underneath yourself, exhale breath. Twice more, lift arm up. Thread it all the way through. One more time, lift and rise. And thread it all the way through. Back up to the sky. And left hand to the earth. Reach the right leg all the way back on a breath in. Knee to the nose, nose to the knee. Lightly step the foot forward. We reach up Anjaneyasana. Grab a hold of left wrist this time with right hand. Take a lengthening inhale, get buoyant in your shape. Lean to the right on the exhale breath. Expansive breath in right into the left side of your body. Lean a little more on the breath out. Back through centre, inhale. Hands bring your front foot on the exhale breath. Sweep your right leg all the way back on the breath in. And then lightly touch it down to the earth, breath out. Modified Vashi Stasana. Right arm to the sky. And then again, energetically spiral the left bicep forward so you feel the left shoulder blade draw back into its socket. Right arm reaches all the way over your right ear. You can stay or lift up through the right leg. From your fingertips to your right heel, take a lengthening inhale. Make this slow, elbow and knee to touch her all the way in, exhale breath. Twice more, use your breath, inhale. Curl all the way in, exhale breath. Even energize through the toes, breath in. Curl all the way in, breath out, pause. Look forward and then lightly step your right foot all the way forward. Step your left foot forward. Lengthen halfway. Bow and fold all the way. Press down, reach up, Urbahastasana. Inhale, hands to the heart on the exhale breath, to the sky, bend your knees, fall to the earth, halfway lift, palms plant, lightly step back to plank shape, from your plank shift forward as you breathe in. Option to drop the knees here, chuck to it under to the bellies or halfway, it's your choice. A back bend, so cobra or upward facing dog. Lift up through the center of your chest. Transition back to down dog, however you'd like to get there. Maybe through a four point kneel, maybe through child's pose. This is our first out of vodka down dog here, so any natural movements that feel intuitive. Maybe a little sway of the hips, shake out of the head, left and right. Then go ahead and lift the heels high as you breathe in. Drop your heels to the left, please, on the breath out. Back to center, heels high, breathe in. Bend the knees a lot. Send the hips towards the heels. Breath out. Hips back up to the sky. Lift the heels high. Inhale. Drop the heels to the right. Exhale. Breath. Back to center. Breath in. Drop the sit bones to the heels. Breath out. Hips back up to the sky. Inhale. 
Downward facing dog, please exhale breath. This time right leg reaches to the sky, breathe in. Draw your right heel to your butt and elevate the left foot, knee to the nose, cobra hook the shoulders and then lightly step the foot to the right thumb. Crescent lunge please, a little bend into the back knee. Come on up, elevate through the arms. Get stable through the feet, get stable through your base. And then from your feet to your fingers. Take a lengthening breath in. Energize the back leg, bow forward, please. Our grow heads on the breath out. Stay here, reach your arms forward, pull the belly away from your front thigh, inhale. Cactus, bend the elbows, slide the shoulders down your back, exhale breath. Reach the arms forward, breath in. Send them back behind you, breath out. We have one more like this, reach the arms forward, inhale. Bend the elbows, slide the shoulders down your back, exhale, breath. Reach forward, breath in. Reach to the back, breath out. Left arm sweeps forward, inhale. Warrior two, please, will land on the exhale, breath. From the belly to the heart, inhale. Find more space, maybe through lunging further on the exhale breath. Breath in. And a breath out. Flip your front palm, stay deep into the front thigh, reverse your warrior, inhale. Cut all your hands to the earth on your exhale breath. Perch pose, left knee meets the right, Left heel trolls to the butt, lengthen the spine, inhale. Two feet come together, Uttanasana, fold, exhale, breath. Utkatasana, chair pose, lift up, breath in. Send the arms behind you, breath out. Reach the arms forward, inhale. Cactus, bend the arms, slide the shoulder blades, exhale, breath. Lift up through the heart, stay here, breathe in. Drop the hips to the heels, breath out. Back to chair pose, reach the arms forward, inhale. Fold over the legs, exhale, breath. Ha. Halfway lift, inhale. Plant your palms, lightly step back, plank shape, please, exhale, breath. Shift forward as you breathe in. Option to drop the knees, chapter down the low plank, breath out. A back bend. Roll the shoulder blades back to lift the heart. Downward facing dog is where we meet. Left leg, elevate skyward. Heel to the butt, lift the right leg and then lightly step the foot all the way through. Crescent lunge, come on up. Take a breath. Arrowhead, energize the back leg, bow forward. Sweep the arms forward, breath in. Cactus, bend the arms, breath out. Reach forward, inhale. Sweep the arms back, exhale, breath. Reach forward, breath in. Bend the elbows, breath out. Reach forward, inhale. Sweep the arms back, exhale, breath. Right arm reaches forward, thunderbolt, breathe in. Warrior two, circle all the way around, breath out. From the belly to the heart, inhale. Lunge a little further if you've got it on the exhale, breath. One more breath in. One more breath out. Exalt, reach up and back through the left side. Hands carpal down to the earth. Perch pose, knees together, right heel to the butt, lengthen your spine, breathe in. Two feet come together, fold over the legs. Utkatasana, chair pose, reach high, breath in. Cactus, bend the arms, breath out. Reach up, inhale. Sweep the hands behind, exhale, breath. Reach up, breath in. Slide the shoulder blades down, breath out. Lift up through the chest, inhale. 
Drop the hips as low as you can. Doesn't need to be too far. Back to chair pose, reach back up. Fold over the legs, release. Lengthen halfway. Plant your palms, step back, plank, shape. Shift forward, breathe in. Chaturanga, low plank, breathe out. A back bend, inhale. Over the toes, hips to the sky. Downward facing dog, exhale breath. Let's do one more round each side. Right leg to the sky, breathe in. Tie the heel to the knee to the heart. Cobra foot the shoulders. Lightly set the foot forward. Crescent lunge, just one breath in. Unravel yourself up. Bow forward, arrow ahead on the breath out. Arms sweep forward on the in. Bend through the elbows on the outs. Arms forward. And then reach them back. Left arm reaches forward. Warrior two. Flip your front palm. Exalt. Breathe in. Hands to the earth. Chaturanga. Maybe three-legged. Maybe all ten toes off the earth. Or maybe you skip this part and step straight back to downward facing dog. Totally your choice here. From your downward facing dog, left leg to the sky. Knee to the heart, step the foot all the way through. Crescent lunge, rise up. Bow forward, arrow heads. Arms sweep forward. Bend through your elbows, energize through your fingertips. Reach forward. And then the arms sweep all the way back. Right arm forward for a breath in. Warrior two for a breath out. Flip your front palm, reverse. Hands to the earth, a flow of your choice, or step straight back to down dog. We'll meet back there, however you would like to transition back. Once you find your downward facing dog, take one breath in through the nose. Open your mouth, pour it all out. Right heel to the sky. Heel to the butt. Cobra hold the shoulders lightly, set the foot forward. Starts the same, crescent lunge, breathe in. Energize the back leg, bow forward, breath out. Left arm sweeps forward. We'll find warrior two. This time straight in the front leg, Flip the right toes up, exalt your warrior, breathe in. Extended side angle pose, right forearm, right thigh. Left arm reaches all the way over your ear. Take a breath. And stay for the breath out. Left hand to left hip, look forward, breathe in. Adha Tranjasana, half moon on the breath out. This is where you might like to grab your block. Maybe you stay exactly as you are. Or if you'd like to come with me, left arm to the sky. And then just like we did at the start of class, left arm reaches all the way forward towards your left ear. You can stay. Or if you'd like to go a little more, take a lengthening breath in. Elbow and knee jaws together, breath out. Use your breath, slow and control. Extend, inhale. Elbow and knee to touch, exhale, breath. One more, extend, breath in. Elbow and knee to touch, breath out. Back to half moon. Maybe the right fingers hover off the block or the earth to the heart. Take one more inhale. And then gently two feet come together. Fold over the leg, exhale, breath. Anna Uttanasana, halfway lift. And bow over the legs softly. Do that again, lengthen. Relax and fold. Halfway lift, inhale. However you'd like to get there, downward facing dog is where we meet back. Pressing of the hands, 
Left leg to the sky. Squeeze the knee in towards the heart. Light, we step the foot forward. Crescent lunge, rise on up. Bow forward, arrow heads. Right arm reaches forward, breath in. Virapadrasana to circle on the breath out. Flip your front palm straight in the front leg. Maybe the left toes whip up, breathe in. Extended side angle, left forearm to left thigh. Right arm over your right ear. One inhale. Right hand to right hip on the exhale breath. Look forward, glide on in, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. See if you can really open up through the right hip. Option to glide or slide that block underneath your left hand. If you'd like to stay here, if that's enough for you today, please stay. Maybe the right arm reaches up towards the sky. Maybe it sends all the way forward over your right ear. If you'd like to go a little more, take a lengthening inhale from toes to fingers. Curl, crunch on the elbow and knee to touch. We have two more. Expand your shape. Inhale. Elbow and knee to touch. Exhale, breath. Last one. Extend on the breath in. Elbow and knee to touch. Breath out. Back to half moon. Maybe the left fingertips Hover to the heart, one more breath in, and then gently bow all the way in, breath out. <sighs> Find your ragdoll shape here, bend the knees as much as you feel is necessary for you. I quite like to clasp the back of my skull. Maybe you hold onto the elbows. A little sway left and right. Really encourage the head and neck to get soft and heavy here. And then let the hands drift down towards the earth. We'll lengthen halfway. Plant your palms. If you'd like to flow back, you can flow back. Or maybe downward facing dog. From your downward facing dog, right leg to the sky. Lightly step the foot all the way forward. Low lunge, broaden the heart. Look forward as you breathe in. Pyramid pose, please lengthen through both of your legs as you bow over the front thigh, breath out. Just a few pulses with breath here. So lunge forward on the breath in. Pyramid pose, lengthen on the breath out. One more time, lunge forward, inhale. Pyramid pose, please, on the exhale breath. Lengthen your spine, maybe come onto the fingertips on the breath in. And then bow over the front thigh on the breath out. And go ahead and bend the front knee once again. Slide that left knee behind the right foot for a little seated twist. Right hand comes behind you, left arm to the sky. Take a lengthening inhale. And then twist over the top leg on the exhale breath. Press down into your sit bones and grow tall, breathe in. Twist a little more, roll the right shoulder blade back, breath out. We'll do that one more time. Lengthen, inhale. Twist a little more on the exhale breath. Option to take a rebound twist, so bring your hands down to the left side of your yoga mat and just allow yourself to gently bow down towards the ground. From here, bring yourself back up, come to a forward fold once again, top of your yoga mat. Halfway lift as you breathe in, or just step straight back this time, please. Downward facing dog on the breath out. 
Moving right away, left heel elevates skyward. Lightly step the foot all the way forwards, the left thumb. Low lunge, pulling the heart as you breathe in. Pyramid pose, lengthen through the legs, breath out. Twice more pulsing with breath, punch forward. Elevate through the hips. One more time, long breath in. Pyramid pose, long breath out. Stay here, lengthen your spine, inhale, maybe come to the ball of the finger pads. Bow over on the front thigh with the exhale breath. One breath in. And one breath out. Lunge into the front knee, please. From here, slide that right knee behind the heel of your left foot. Bring the left hand behind you, reach your right arm all the way up towards the sky. Sit tall in your seat, breathe in. And twist over the left leg on the breath out. Two more here, just like that. Inhale. Twist a little more on the exhale breath. One more from sit bones to crown, breathe in. And twist, breathe out. Option to bring your hands down to the right side of your yoga mat, bow down towards the earth, just a little twist to breathe out. And then come back up to an upright seat. Please place both of your feet down towards the earth and then bring your hands or your palms onto your knees. Almost like some seated cats and cows, roll the shoulder blades back, center of the heart lifts, chin lifts, eye gaze lifts as you inhale. And then keep the palms pressing straight in through the arms as you round through your spine, chin to chest. Lean back, exhale, breath. Twice more. Shoulders roll back, lift on up, breath in. And then round all the way in, breath out. Just some spinal mobility here. Lift up, inhale. And then round all the way in, exhale, breath. Stay here, release your knees with your hands, reach your arms forward, and then gently, gently, gently roll all the way down onto your back. From here, walk your feet a little closer towards your tailbone. Right ankle will stack on top of your left knee, create a figure four shape. Press the right knee away from your body with your right hand. And really energize that right foot like your right foot is pressing against a wall. Stay here if that's enough for you or thread the hands through to the back of the left hamstring. Really energetically press your tailbone down and lower back down towards the ground. As you pull the left hamstring in at the same time, press the right leg away from your body. Shoulders are relaxed, skull is heavy. Notice if the breath is starting to slow down here as we begin to down regulate. Then from there, wrap your right leg all the way over your left leg to close the daylight between the knees. Arms out to shoulder height, shimmy the hips to the right, and then drop your legs down towards the left. I like to look over my right shoulder, you might like to look over to the left if that feels more available for your head and neck. And then you'll bring yourself back up to centre, unravel the legs and take your reclined pigeon or figure four shape to the other side. So left ankle on top of right knee. Press the left knee away from your body. Again, if that's enough for you, please stay or thread the hands through to the back of the right hamstring or on top of the right knee. Lower back and tailbone presses down to the ground.
And when you feel the China's right for you, slide the left leg along. Hips will move over to the left, knees drop to the right. Bring your little peel over to the right shoulder blade. Just when you feel ready, you'll come back to centre, unravel the legs. You might like to take a happy baby or squeeze the knees in towards the chest and a little rock left and right. And then you'll find your way into your Shavasana shape. So you might like to lie down. You might like to take your Shavasana seated. You might like to even take your Shavasana on your belly. Once you find your way into your final resting shape, see if you can give yourself permission to be effortless, consciously relaxed. Notice what it feels like here to do nothing at all. And just let you be here, breathe here for the next minute or so. back into the room, you might like to bring some small minute movements into the fingertips, the feet. Maybe even a lengthening stretch, reaching your arms or the head, pointing your toes. Time here to roll onto a side. And we'll meet in a comfortable seat when you feel ready to journey your way back up. Once you find your way back up to a seat, Palms meet back together in front of the heart space. And just one time, we'll take a breath in through the nose. Soften your breath out of the mouth. Honoring the fruits of all of your efforts here, bowing in towards your own brave heart. Thumbs up towards your third eye, Ajna. And we say, Namaste. Namaste.